So have no luck of finding your home here in Hawaii, but you're not ready to give up? In this video, I will talk about how you can navigate through this current real estate market and how you can find your home. Stick around for more results. Let's rock. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how you can survive buying real estate here in Hawaii for the rest of 2022. Before we get started, for those that are new to my channel, my name is Joey Controller Prather with EXP Realty. I'll be glad to help you in your buying, selling, or renting process out here in Oahu. If you guys haven't done already, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and comment your thoughts of any feelings about the current market. And feel free to follow me up on my social media platforms as well as DM me or text me or call me so I can help you in the best way possible. With that being said, let's talk about how you can survive buying in here in Hawaii. If you guys haven't done already, please feel free to watch my June 2022 market report and see that the current updates going on, houses are slowing down with more days on market, with more price adjustments, which gives buyers a bigger upper hand in their negotiations. If you haven't done already, the Federal raised the rates up to 0.75 points, which is a good thing. Why? Number one, Federal rate hikes are a good thing. Every time that the news raves about interest points, it's always about credit card loans and car loans, never about real estate. I realize that inflation is the enemy of the federal rate. So in order to hedge down the inflation, the Federal Reserve has decided to hike it up to 0.75 points, which is a great thing. It's as if our economy is sick with this inflation, so the Federal Reserve being the doctor prescribing it with a medication of federal raise hikes. Although it's bitter to swallow, it is necessary to bring down the rates. If you're very unsure about where your numbers are at, I highly recommend you talk to a local loan officer or a financial advisor. And don't forget to watch my How You Buy a Home Here in Hawaii video, which will help you in the basics to get you going. Number two, find your neighborhood and do your due diligence. You necessarily do not need to buy your dream home on the first try. Rather, it's about, like I said, date the rate, marry the house. And depending on your situation, you want to figure out what you have in your budget, if you have kids, what school they want to go to, how's the travel going to be to school, to work, if you're going to work from home, what are the amenities. And keep in mind, the view is going to be a premium price for luxury. Know what suits your current situation and be flexible with your options. If you want to live over in Kaneohe or Kailua, be prepared that you're going to be paying over a million dollars on average. So maybe Eva Beach and Makakilo could be your best bet to start off your home process, or better yet, a townhome or a condo. Number three, work on an above and beyond agent. One big thing that you should do with your agent. If that agent is not communicating with you thoroughly about your guys' wants and needs, it's always best to go with a second opinion. The best agent isn't necessarily the one with the most pockets, the most money, the most connections, the most leads, but someone that you will vibe with throughout the process. Remember that real estate your home, this is going to be one of your biggest investments of your life. So you might as well work with someone that will help you in the best way possible, make it stress-free and fun. The best agents out there will be educating you on the things that you should look out for in the agreements, the papers, and also the things that you may be paying for. For example, did you know that home inspections and appraisals are paid by the buyer and a termite inspection is paid by the seller? Which is why we need to get into number four, consider going under your budget and get pre-approved. When you're working with their loan officer, that knows you, vibes you, and will get your stuff done and crunch your numbers in a way you get your best situation possible. Now keep in mind, the max pre-approval doesn't mean you go all the way up. You have to consider insurance, taxes, HOA fees, and other hidden expenses that you may not be aware of. For example, if your pre-approval was $800,000, but you have two kids, and you necessarily don't need to travel as much, maybe you might want to consider a townhouse or something that's suitable for your current needs. If you're planning to use the pool, be considerate of how much you're paying for your HOA fees. And also know during your pre-approval how much you think you'll be spending per month on the mortgage. Did you know that HOAs go up to 4% per month, which is probably 15 to $20 depending on the HOA fee, but that thing should not scare you. Also, when you are finding that kind of house, and when you do have your pre-approval and your number squared away, now it's time to get a house. But number five, move fast, but don't be discouraged. Although we're still in a seller market with the average of 11 days, you're still seeing more houses sit longer than it was during COVID or the previous year. If the listing agent wasn't marketing well or wasn't getting the offers that they wanted, you're gonna see more price adjustments, more days on market, and you're gonna see less offers. However, it will sell fast depending on the listing agent's negotiation skills, marketing skills, and their ways to help make it both a win-win situation. At the end of the day, the seller needs to sell the house while the buyer needs to get a house. And so you make it things worthwhile. When you're looking at houses with that agent, be sure to look at every crack and croony in every spot and see what could be fixed, 
what is worth your time and would it be okay if you wanted an as-is, fixer-upper, few minor adjustments or turnkey. Note those problems for your agent and your agent can go find out for themselves how much it would cost to fix X amount of problem. For example, a leaky pipe or a foundation, depending on the problem, it could only be a few hundred dollars. Is that worth your budget? Or why still buy now, even though the rates are still going up? Even though you'll end up with a higher monthly payment than you could have had during COVID, you're not buying over asking, which is additional money that you put up front, and you know how much you're paying per month on the mortgage. Depending on the house, you may not even have to put an appraisal gap. And once you own your place, you'll be building equity every single year because of how big the demand here is in Hawaii. And you can still refinance when the interest rates go down. Whereas if you wait until the rates go down, then you're gonna have to go back to what we did during COVID and cost an arm and a leg to bid out for that house. And at that time, your equity would still be zero. And that concludes surviving buying real estate here in Hawaii. If you guys enjoyed my video, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and comment your thoughts about what I should do next, what are your feelings about the current market, and how I can help you in the best way possible. And if you guys haven't done already, please hit me up on my social media platforms and feel free to DM me, call me, or text me so that I can provide you the best value I can. If you guys are looking to buy, rent, or sell here in Hawaii, I'm a licensed realtor with EXP, and I'll be glad to help you. Stay tuned for some awesome creative things. My name is Joey Control Prather, powered by EXP Realty, and I'll see you guys soon. Let's rock!